Check out this wide body Camaro. You don't see any of these every day. Has a custom pearl paint job, which really makes the car stand out in the sun. That's why we're out here in this California sunlight, so you can see this beautiful red color on this awesome bow tie car. So what do you do when you have a car that has custom paint like this and you wanna keep it looking great? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a coat of wax to really bring out that color and protect it from any rain or water spots or any time of that nasty environmental contamination that could ruin this beautiful pearl paint job. So I selected 5050, our Pure Concourse Paste Wax. This is our new version, version two. You can tell our new version from the old version because the new version has a clean silver canister. And this wax actually goes through an eight day blending process with an extra long cure time so the molecules of the wax cure in this beautiful custom pot to make sure that you get the nicest look possible on any color car. It's great on metallics because it really brings out that metallic luster and it's really gonna look good on this wide body Camaro. So before I go ahead and place some of our 5050 Pure Concourse Paste Wax on this beautiful paint, I'm gonna go ahead and first wash it and then show you how easy this awesome paste wax is to use on any color car. So let's get started today and show you guys a little bit of detailing tips and tricks. So first I'm gonna grab our EcoSmart RU. This is our complete waterless detailing system that's gonna go ahead and pull off any dirt off the vehicle and it's gonna go ahead and give a fresh look. I've already done, gone ahead and done a test spot and found out that we don't need any clay bar because this car is maintained very well. So I also grabbed one of our 16 by 16 micro line microfiber towels and this is going to go ahead and give me a soft plush cleaning ability so I don't scratch the surface as I go along. So let's go ahead and wash this section of the Camaro to make sure that we can apply the wax properly. So first I'm going to go ahead and saturate the surface with the EcoSmart. Once that's done I'm going to go ahead and take my microfiber towel and I'm going to easily wipe in one direction. As you notice I'm not making circular marks so that way I don't put any more swirls and scratches into the vehicle itself. I'm also going to pull off any dust and debris that's on this car, make sure that it looks real good. There we go. I'm going to flip my towel over, I'm going to buff off any last residue because EcoSmart does have wax in it. And it's going to go ahead and protect the car if you're just doing your weekly wash, maintaining that beautiful finish on your vehicle. I love this color, I'm a big fan of pearl candies and red color cars. So we're gonna make sure this paint looks real good as we go ahead and detail it out. I like to wash over all my area to make sure that I don't get any streaks or any type of misleading materials on this car. Because I wanna make sure that my area is clean. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole car later, but I'm gonna do a section of this vehicle to demonstrate how awesome 5050 really works. So let's go ahead and talk about 5050. So 5050 comes in a sealed canister, and the sealed canister requires usually a screwdriver or a key to pop it open. So I'm gonna grab a car key right here and pop open the 5050 can. 5050 we actually manufacture in limited numbers to make sure that we put as much love as we can into creating a paste wax that's designed just for shows. And if you notice, even on the 5050 can, it even is limited, a special limited edition number to make sure that every batch has a certain amount of uh, selectivity put into all these waxes. This one is actually number 1661 of 2000. So we have a 2000 run, so all of our waxes are limited production to make sure we get the best look. There we go. Now if you notice, 5050 is actually a white Brazilian Carnuba. It's extremely refined to give a great look to any color vehicle. It doesn't just work on red, it works on yellow, silver, black, blue, any of those colors. So I'm gonna take one of our European black micro our foam applicator pads, and I'm gonna gently swipe it on the inside of this pot. Now the friction from the foam applicator pad is actually gonna melt the wax itself right onto the applicator pad. There we go. We have a nice amount of wax on our applicator pad, and now I'm gently gonna swipe it on the surface. That's what's cool about 50-50 is, is apply is so easy. You, it's easy to get that real thin coat if you just go ahead and easily apply it to the surface. Now when you apply a paste wax, it's best to go in lines. It's not good to go in circles because you don't want to create scratches. You actually want to prevent any scratching or swell marks when you're applying your paste wax. 
it's always good to go back and get a little bit more wax as you apply it to the surface. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do this fender as well, right on the top. And as you can see, I changed up. I went from a, um, from a horizontal manner to a vertical manner, or it might be vice versa on the camera. But I want to make sure that I get a great look all over the vehicle. There we go. Now, 5050 is an extremely uh, refined paste wax. It goes through a long curing process, and in that process, it actually requires a 20 minute dry time. Other waxes might be wipe on, wipe off, but to get the best result, we choose to wait 20 minutes when applying a paste wax to any car. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and wait 20 minutes. When we come back, we're gonna use a plush microfiber towel and buff this beautiful red paint to a nice bright shine. So let's see you guys in 20 minutes. So we're back after 20 minutes and the 5050 Pure Concourse Paste Wax has dried to the surface and now we're going to go ahead and remove it so you guys have the best shine. So I grabbed another one of our 16 by 16 microfiber towels and I'm going to buff off any type of wax, excess residue that's on the surface. So let's buff off to a nice shine. So first I'm going to place the towel on the surface and I'm going to easily buff off any of the wax. And if you notice, 5050 removes very, very easily without any type of effort. So we go now, look at that nice red glow that we have on this vehicle. And it's nice to have 50-50 on your side because it gives a bright glow. That's what I like out of a paste wax. Sometimes I like that crisp shine that a sealant gives, but with a paste wax, you get a nice bright glow. Always remember when you're uh, removing paste wax from a car to be gentle. You don't want to create any scratches on the vehicle. And always turn over your microfiber towel as you go. So once you do a section, go ahead and flip over your microfiber towel and buff off any other residue. There we go, we did the hood right there. Now I'm gonna move over to this fender, buff that right off. Now just to make sure that I get a fresh look, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my microfiber towel over one more time to a clean side, ripping off any tags. And I'm gonna go ahead and buff off any last streaks. There we go. I love that look and I'm loving this bright finish that 5050 really gives. It's gonna protect the car against water spots, UV rays and UV contamination. And red is also one of the colors that fades the most. So if we know that this red color is protected and has wax on it, it's gonna last through the winter and it's not gonna fade like all those other red cars you might see on the road. So if you guys have any more questions about 5050, our pure concourse paste wax, you can check it out on our website or you can find me hanging out at chemicalguys.com.